jagged little thrill. Um, I want to do something a little different this week. Um, maybe it's because I just finished watching the episode of Grey's where Derek asked Meredith to marry her, marry him, by um, all the scans in the elevator of all the different surgeries they've been on together after that really risky surgery with Izzy Stevens. And maybe it's just because I'm a deeply nostalgic person and we're about to open the show in a matter of days. And, um, but all of these things maybe have led me to um, this thinking about when we started this show, uh, this Broadway production on September 23rd, and all of the things that have shifted and grown, and all of the things that have happened, and and I have this entire company, and my other friends and family, but really this company to thank for that, and this show. And so I was thinking it would be really, really deeply selfish of me to keep all of their wisdom exclusively to myself. Um, so... I was thinking I might, in the theme of, you know, the fact that I'm revisiting high school every night, I was thinking it might be nice to ask every single person in this company, at least that's willing to <laughs> answer me, um, what advice they would give their 15-year-old self, and maybe you guys can experience a little bit of the magic that I have experienced since starting this production, um, because it is magic. Uh, are you gonna ask the question? Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> what advice would you give your 16 year old self? Stop relaxing your hair. It's gonna break <laughs> off. Wear your natural hair. The racists in Georgia don't matter. <laughs> That's amazing. Cool. Thank, Thank you, you, Nora. I would tell my 16 year old self to have patience and to trust that everything will happen the way that it's supposed to happen and to, to enjoy the journey because it really is about the journey. Um, I would tell my 16 year old self to trust in yourself and trust your gut because at that time in life there's a lot of people that project their own insecurities on you and I truly was a, I was a victim of that and I let it affect my self confidence so I would just say to trust yourself and look within. Uh, I think I would tell my 16 year old self to trust that being a little weird is okay and will serve you and it's not a bad thing to be different from other people. Um, and also, I think as I've gotten older I've learned so much about the power of empathy and really listening to other people and trusting stillness and um, that's something that I'm so glad I know now, but I would tell my 16 year old self like, have a little patience, like do a little listening, like sit back, relax. Okay, to my 16-year-old self. Oh my god, hey girl. Oh, you're such a little dork, but like, it's the best thing ever. This is so funny, because this is Broadway.com. Mm -hmm. And I would like watch these all the time, and I'd do my own vlogs, and I'd get teased for it. But like, that creativity, I'm trying to get back to that. So if I could talk to her, I'd say like, keep doing you. Yeah, totally trust your gut and like value that time you spend with yourself. It's sacred. You know yourself, trust yourself, oh my God. Cause you're still gonna do the thing. You're gonna meet amazing people and eventually get paid to do what you've been doing your whole life. So like, trust your gut, girl. You queer little thing. <laughs> Come out now. <laughs> Guys, it's the first one ever. I, 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 oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, what just happened? Catherine was word perfect yesterday. Are you serious? Is it real? Uh, did you tell Diane? Yes, I did. I did what did she say? Diane. She was like, that's amazing. Oh my god, you cry. <laughs> she actually didn't say anything, but I did tell her. Oh, <laughs> damn it! I know, I, <laughs> I know she was proud. You can keep that forever. Oh my god, this is going up on the wall. This is my pride right here. This is... <laughs> The best day of my life. You know who didn't get a gold star? Derek? Yeah! <laughs> okay. Welcome back to the Puff! Yeah! The Puff. The Puff. Today we have a very, very, very special, special guest. guest. Um, as you know, we are leading up to our opening night uh, yeah, we this are. week. Oh, and and our, our, Finally. <laughs> our fearless leader and director, Finally. Diane Paulus, has has graciously accepted our invitation to, to be interviewed on the puff. On the puff. On the puff. Yeah. But Diane, this is not your first time on the puff. 
No, I've come to give you notes on the top. <laughs> this yes. is the spot of the it's notes. It's usually over there. Yes, it's when yeah. Catherine's putting her makeup on, I come and I just sit on the puff and say, I have a few notes. <laughs> It's true. It's my favorite place to receive notes. So she's Always no stranger to the puff. I'm no stranger, no stranger to, the puff. to the puff. Okay, so you, there's a photo of you that ART circulated from when you were younger, and I believe you were, maybe you were doing Pippin, or they, or there was something, and you're in this um, checkered, like, like, leotard. Oh, yes. Tell us about this. Oh, my goodness. Yes. So I wanted to know okay. the origin of this photo for All a right. long time. I, w I was a little baby <laughs> Harlequin <laughs> in um, Harlequinade at the New York City Ballet. And I was like 10 wow. years old, and it was this brief period when Baryshnikov left ABT and came to dance at New York City Ballet under Balanchine. And Baryshnikov played Papa Harlequin. So I did an actual little number with Baryshnikov. Like, do people know this about Crazy. you? That you danced with Baryshnikov at 10? Yeah, I mean, like, you know. That's da -da 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 I mean, it was like not really dancing, it was like, you no, know. That's incredible. Kind of that's amazing. Yeah. So, does that experience, do you think it will ever inspire you to dance with the Jagged Little Pill Company in Jagged Little Pill? I on dance stage in my heart. <laughs> if so, is it, second. Is, isn't Catherine a great dancer? Oh, stop! Super. I watch you. you really I, I watched on this blog that sometimes you take a fall. Oh, so many times. But, <laughs> knock on wood, knock on wood, knock on wood, knock on wood. Knock on wood, knock on wood. Yeah, She's Kathy amazing. takes a tumble. You, you Kathy don't get, takes we, a tumble. We don't get you dancing in this show. No, so much. Nick. Uh, you should Nick's see what happens backstage. Dancer. It's not a big dancer. Yeah. Um, yeah. You have two girls that I just adore more than anything. Oh, yeah. How, how, yeah. Okay, in directing. Are you going to bring them to the puff one day? Oh, they have oh, to yeah. come to the puff. They would love to be Where are they the at the show next? Uh, opening night. Oh, my God, of course. They're both coming. Which is so soon. When you're like directing us to be high school kids. Do you, it has having actual teenagers, has that informed your, your experience of mm. us being teenagers? <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess they're not as old as we are in the show. Yeah, yeah. Natalie, yeah. Natalie is in 10th grade, so yeah, 15. So she's but, like, yeah, it's pretty um, close. But no, it actually does. But you know, yeah, you, you like draw on everything in your life. Yeah. I'm drawing on my memories of being in high school and then, you know, being a mom with teenage girls and then talking to them and getting inside their world a bit yeah it's what were all you like in high school i was really bossy yes <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I, think oh I had some high school friends tell me i was bossy because you know i i like to do things i like to make things happen yeah right. um i did theater you know yeah. so i was i was i mean listen you it. were like professionally dancing at 10 years old you like knew yeah. what was up I was into that, like, rigor. I liked, you know, I liked the challenge. That's incredible. I, I love that. I was bossy. And you know what? <laughs> no, I also like, I'll tell you what I liked and why I did theater as a kid. Uh, I liked being in a group. Yeah. And that's why I do the theater, I think. Yeah. That's why so much of us love to do the theater, because you're, you make a family. and well, you, It's collaborative. It's collaborative. Yeah. And yeah. you do things that you couldn't do by yourself, and you make things that are not possible possible, because you're with other people kind of yeah. making that thing happen. I love that. The question of the week for the vlog has been what advice would you give your 16 year old self? Everything that happens mm -hmm. in life, yeah. like the good, the bad, the heartbreak, the challenges, mm -hmm. the disappointments, it's all part of your journey. Yeah. And um, the pendulum of life will keep swinging. Yeah. And it swings over here, and you gotta ride it, and then sometimes you need that pendulum to swing that way so that, like, it's gonna swing the other way. But it's really hard to know that when you're 16. Oh my god, it's so hard to know that. I feel like at 16 the pendulum just goes from, like, extreme to extreme yeah, to extreme. Yeah, Everything's yeah. a first. Yeah, that's Everything. true. Everything. That's true. Okay, the other thing I was yeah. gonna say is um, you are like at the moment of developing who you are as a person. Yeah. Part of being coming like 16 and an adult is developing what you believe in. Yeah. What your interests are. And it's not about what your parents want or what you think you should do. And the more you can just develop that sense of what interests you. Yeah. That's also going to feed your life in big ways so 
totally. And That's what our show so focuses on yeah. a lot. Yeah, yeah, is, yeah, yeah, right? Not the, not the external. What makes you you, right. and, makes you you and loving that. Yep. And yeah. uh, well, thank you so much for coming and joining us. Oh, for joining us on the show. Thanks. Uh, for the hustle me. and bustle oh of opening gosh. week, and yeah. Diane Pellis took a few minutes out to talk with us. On the puff. On, on the, the puff. We'll see you next week. I could be like Kathy Gallagher. Yeah. Elizabeth Stanley, Take what on. advice would you give your 16-year-old self? Um, you're not fat. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. <laughs> yeah, right? I just feel like, and my friends, I have so, what am I trying to say? I have so many people who, like, share the sentiment that we look back at old pictures of ourselves and we're like, I was so cute, but I was telling myself I was not cute. You were cute. What advice would you give your 16-year-old self, Lauren Patton? I think what I'd tell my 16-year-old self, um, I think I'd just say to be kinder. Be kinder to yourself, not to other people, because my 16-year-old self was very comfortable being kinder to other people, but not to myself. So I think that's kind of been like the hard knocks lesson I've learned and I still have to work on, you know? Antonio, you were 16 year old, yeah. years old yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, the only thing that I would give is, don't worry, you're gonna graduate early. <laughs> All right, 16 year old self, I'd say, keep going, because you're awesome. Uh, so my advice to my 16 year old self would be to not spend as much time worrying about what other thing people think about you and oh, to uh, you. just be the best version of you you can okay. be. I would say to my 16 year old self, keep smiling and your brother is always wrong. <laughs> Staying up late is not as cool as you think it is. <laughs> Still cool, John. You're not a kid. Don't be so hard on yourself. Have more confidence. It's gonna be okay that you're gonna find the people that you connect with, you're gonna find the people that you love. Maybe some of them are around you now, maybe some of them aren't. But uh, I just I would have told myself to give myself time. Celia, yeah, yesterday, yesterday you were 16. <laughs> what advice would you give yourself yesterday? Um, I would tell myself yesterday to take a big old breath. Um, uh, I tell myself that today. I would tell myself to take a big old breath. Um, everything is about to change. Everything. Um, and that there are moments that I think that I am uh, you there are moments that you will think that you don't deserve this moment and you absolutely do oh my god it was a long time ago I barely <laughs> remember it Catherine um oh my god what would I tell my 16 year old self do you know what <laughs> hang in there yeah uh I was I was picked on and bullied and all I can say is, you know, hashtag it gets better. <laughs> and uh, and uh, just don't give up on your dreams because it might, it might take you 30 something years, but it can still happen. What advice would you give your 16 year old self? Oh my goodness. Don't try to do too much. I think uh, do what's do what's really gonna make you happy. I think, especially in high school, you try to take on so many things and <clears throat> there are so many opportunities and, and of course you wanna excel, excel, excel. And if you take it one step at a time and just focus on what makes you happy and what you love, I think that that is the most important thing. Hello, we just finished a show and a little photo shoot and I realized the last thing I had left to do was ask myself this question. So before I sign off, I would like to say to 16-year-old Catherine that right now you believe love is three dozen roses after the first date and someone outside your bedroom window with a boombox over their head and you believe success means getting a major record deal, an arena tour, and a hit single all before your 18th birthday and you think that you will never be put on screen in a TV show, in a movie, anything, until you lose 30 pounds. And I'd like to tell you that none of those things are true. That you're going to learn that love is the people who will always pick up the phone. And a lot of those people are sitting right next to you in drama class right now, and they will still pick up the phone in 10 years. And they will come to your very 
first Broadway opening night. And that will be what success looks like to you. Success will start looking like telling stories that you really believe in and you will be really happy and fulfilled doing so. And your body doesn't matter what they used to say about it. Because the truth is, is you use your body to tell stories that matter to you. And that's what your body's good for. It gets you from point A to point B, and it tells powerful stories, and it lets you do what you love. So thank it every now and again, because it's a good one. Just keep going. That was Jagged Little Thrill this week. Enjoy. See you next time. And happy opening night. I'm now speaking to myself in the future watching this. It's your opening night. Enjoy it.